Welcome back! It's the conclusion of the Ballet Middle Splits Challenge, and we've all had to deal with those stubborn adductors. If your adductors, also known as inner thighs, are tight, you will not reach your middle splits goal. Tight adductors will also limit the openness of your second position, the height of your side extensions, and any jump that requires flexibility. So I often use a ball or a roller for a muscle release, but doesn't it seem awkward and unwieldy to do so on your inner thighs? I think it is. So what I kind of invented instead was to take my short green spiky roller shown with this dancer in these photos. And you can see I positioned it underneath her thigh and now I'm demonstrating it for you in full motion. And of course, um, you want to breathe, of course, exhale. It's probably best to start at the top of the thigh and work your way down. I'm pressing into it, I'm not rolling the little roller around. This is the green foam spiky one that I've used in other videos. I'll put the link to my Amazon shop below if you're interested in getting one. I use it for my feet, I use it for my neck, I use it for the back of my calves because it doesn't roll away really easily. It's kind of a nice little tool, very lightweight and small, can fit in a purse. And I just move it down the leg methodically pressing. I press lightly and then I press a little firmer if I need to into the leg. See, I'm pushing down with my hand to get some extra release. Ah, I guess I found another cranky spot and went back up. And you can completely do this in your own style. But I do think it's best to work from the inner thigh down towards the knee. Don't go behind the knee, of course. Now I'm just going to test my openness of my middle split here. I'm turning out. Bend and stretch a dynamic stretch. Um, I'm going to turn sideways and you'll know something kind of funny about my body. My knee is less turned out than my hip or my feet. That's why it looks weird. And you also see that in the upcoming um, little video with the band. And you can also do this, as I'm going to demonstrate now, on a large roller. So you kind of straddle the roller. It's a little awkward, but it's not as spiky. And it also gets you up in the air so you can get an increased stretch across the adductor. And you roll through it. This time I'm not pressing as much. I'm roll more massaging that area. In a former video, I showed you how to press and release either on yourself or a partner. I did that with private lessons and get them to breathe into it. That's a little bit difficult. I find that the roller is great. So I'm angling my hip now and getting a little deeper press into that roller. You can see I'm pressing and rotating to loosen up that whole inward and outward area because as you stretch you have learned I'm sure that it facilitates a deeper stretch if you do do a dynamic one and move and move on opposite sides of the muscle because it's not all just coming from one area of tightness. This is after our class, so I'm really well warmed up. I would recommend these last stretches of my video uh, to be very, very warmed up. So here we are on side two. You can see I, I kind of start in a sideways stance here. That works pretty well. Well, you could start with their legs in a second and roll over into this attitude positioning. So I'm just getting into right now, my sort of inside of my left knee has been bothering me and I can feel some cranky fascia there. Um, I couldn't tell you, you know, what muscle it is, is an adductor or what, it doesn't really matter. But that's what I like about the roller, is you can get in there and it will calm some things down, even though it's a bit painful. So you see me sort of look like I'm smiling, but I'm not. <laughs> it's more of a grimace, right? You've all been there. So anyway, I hope that this is a new idea for you that will prove productive. I find it, I find it really useful. 
And at the end, I did test myself and saw that I went down a little bit, a little bit, but you know what? That's all you can expect. Keep up with it. I said originally we do this challenge for 30 days, which we have by the end of this week, but also I feel like it's really something you need to do for a couple of months. Just easy does it, but consistent. A few minutes every class for sure. And I give you the warm-ups in these videos so that you can refer to them if you haven't taken class that day to do a warm-up before you do that kind of stretching. This is bigger stretching. This is not something you want to do cold. In the photos before I show the stretching, I had a young student of mine and um, we did a test at the end and you can see we only did the rolling on the right leg. And if you go back to the beginning of the video, well, I'll just insert it at the top here. You'll see that her right leg is a lot further down. So for her, it was pretty, pretty instantaneous. It just depends upon your body. And this is an okay way to do it too. It's not exactly an oversplit. I am not a big fan of oversplits. But I was using my body weight to press down into inside thigh, middle split area. Is that grimace? <laughs> I didn't realize I did it, did it that much. It's pretty funny. Today's results, 166.26. I started this challenge almost four weeks ago, and I haven't been to class for two weeks. So I went to class today, and I did my secret weapon, which you just saw, the rolling out of the adductors. And you can see the other photo that I was three degrees less. So this is my recommendation. Give it a try because even though I haven't been stretching for two weeks, this still worked for me. Going on, sometimes to improve flexibility, we have to move the muscle inward like I did on the roller. We're going to move forward now with the band. This is an up circle band from my Amazon shop. It's only $15, which I think is a really reasonable price. I'm going to demonstrate it here as well, working on my rotation, and you can see, yes, my knee is not in line with my foot, because my ankles have a lot more flexibility, but I've never had a knee injury. However, you should try to keep those aligned. Right, so this is one of the exercises this lovely dancer worked on for a year to enhance her splits. She wasn't 180 to start. She was flexible, but not 180. And she did an inward and outward rotation of her legs and flex and pointing, which is really great for your intrinsics and your muscles as well. Of course, sitting in second, you have to work your posture and your spine so tall. I like to take arms fifth high. Would you mind showing us that? And so you're really balancing on your sit bone points. Yes, thank you. You can also add Combray side. And this will help you with Combray side at the bar, of course. Really, when you're truly aiming for that total rotation. Stretch, ultimate goal. You turn around, as I'm sure you've seen before, people do this. <laughs> and you have to really open hips. Next is a hip flexor stretch, just in case you still feel that limits your middle splits. This is one of my favorites. Starting position, hip flexor and core strengthener. So what's happening is this is functioning as if you were laying down on the edge of a table with your leg extending longer, stretching that psoas area. She's controlling the stretch by holding her core and the knee. You can hold about I don't know, eight to 10 seconds, but really to tell you the truth, I just hold as long as I feel the stretch, until I feel the stretch. And switching. And notice her back is nice and flat because she's engaging her core, there's no arch there. The leg that is extending is feeling the stretch. Now what you can do as an option is not use your hands on your leg. So she's gonna remove her hands and she's just gonna control that stretch by using her core more. Yeah, nice. And it's very still through the pelvis.
And finally, if you're still looking for a nice little short warm-up, you can follow along with these students. And go ahead and bend forward a little bit if you want to stretch it out. Wow, that's good. Yes, and reach your arms out in front of you for longer length. That's it. And let's roll up through the spine and switch sides. There you go. And spine's up straight. And another 30 seconds. And let's bend forward and reach the arms out. And if you're able to do the T stretch, you can add that now, or if you want to do it at the end of class, you can do it as well. The T stretch is making a T on top. We've got various, various levels of flexibility here. At the end of the class, probably everyone will be almost down. You cross the knees at the top, and you make the heels go straight across, forming the top of the T. And then if you need an extra stretch, you can always reach out forward. And of course you wanna switch the legs at some point and then you're gonna reach forward the same way to get a deeper stretch for the back of your hips. So all of these stretches are hip openers. And there we'll go on to just a gentle waking up your feet, legs parallel, and we'll take flex and point one, and two, and make sure as you point, your feet are tracking in line with your tibia, which is your shin bones. Yep, and then push through the balls of your foot. we we'll do that four, five, six, seven, eight times, whatever you like. And then we'll start circling the feet around, warming up a blood flow around your Achilles. You do one foot independently or two feet at once, whatever you want. You can go on to Dawn to bury it. Getting those muscles working, getting in tune with your ankles, what's happening, maybe the back of the knees stretching. And then let's go bring our legs back to parallel. And you're going to keep your feet flexed as you reach down towards your ankles and keep your head up. So you're trying to get some stretch on the back of the calves, the hamstrings, wherever you might feel it. And the theory is that you're getting the nerves to slide along when you keep your head up. And then we're going to point your feet and bring your head down. So I sort of think of this as pointing my head so they match. And that's the more normal way we would do it as a dancer. And then we're going to repeat, flex and come up. Take a nice breath, deep into the belly and exhale longer than we're breathing in. And enjoy the stretch. You can do this as long as you need. 